Welcome. English Pronunciation Training, Part 10. Topic Where do women fit in during Movember and in men's health conversations? The month of November has a multitude of movements that are observed and celebrated, be that those movements are officially recognized or ones that we observe and officially. One of these movements, and perhaps one of the most significant, is Movember. The entire month of November is recognized as Movember and dedicated to raising awareness for men's health. The history of Movember goes all the way back to 1999 in Adelaide, Australia, when several men were growing their beard and mustaches to raise money for charity. What started as a group of 80 men who called themselves the Movember Committee, soon turned into a national phenomenon and later, earned worldwide recognition as the Movember Foundation. The foundation is in charge of the event and aims to transform the perception of men's health by combating social norms that prevent men from seeking out help. Movember is an acronym for MO, which stands for mustache, and the month when the event is held. During Movember, men are encouraged to grow a mustache, falling in line with No Shave November, but it's not the same, to raise awareness about their physical and mental health. Among physical health, illnesses like prostate and testicular cancer, and their mental health in general is particularly addressed. However, this isn't to say that one has to be part of the foundation to observe this month nor does it entail that the movement is just a concern for men. Currently, men are still weighted down by patriarchal norms that socially demand men to portray themselves as nearly invincible beings, sole providers of their families, and to be immune to ailments, particularly mental illnesses. However, we all know that's not an accurate belief and one that's heavily rooted in gendered beliefs. So, this month is focused on generating conversations and creating dialogue about men's health, encouraging men to talk about their mental troubles, opt for regular doctor checkups and such. Like any social movement, everyone has a role to play. Women partake in this movement either by supporting the men in their lives or by actively trying to create conversations surrounding men's health and are often called Mo Sistas. Any female can be a Mo Sista, from mothers to friends to partners. Women play a significant role in men's health by standing behind the men in their lives to encourage and motivate their health. While it may sound like women again have to babysit the men in their lives, women's roles transcend gendered obligations. Whether they are a wife, girlfriend, mother or friend, men are more likely to confide in women than other men. Once men get comfortable speaking about their troubles to women, they are mostly likely to have those conversations with other men. As women, we need to keep in mind that patriarchy isn't something that only women have internalized. So have men, and they need the space to take small steps to surpass these deeply ingrained gendered beliefs. To start with, women set the example and Movember is taking cues from the women's health movements. Men are less inclined than women to discuss their health, much less take action. According to studies, women may function as a catalyst to encourage men to move and be active throughout the month. And they play a significant role in helping men break down the barriers that obstruct men's health conversations. Besides, it's best to keep in mind that women, knowingly or unknowingly, might be promoting the unhealthy images of masculinity social conventions impose. Keep in mind, Movember has its fair share of criticism in advocating for the growth of body hair, regardless of whether you're a man or a woman. But women's body hair is another moment that has long been debated and Movember recognizes the male mustache as a symbol of men's health. No one is obligated to be a most sisters. And it all boils down to creating a space fit for discussions for all genders. Creating a safe space for the men in your life to talk about what they might be going through or the physical discomfort they might be feeling is a good starting point. From there, supporting and motivating them to seek out the proper help, be that medical or simply just allowing them to speak without being biased, is a good way to raise awareness. These changes don't need to happen on a grand scale i.e., a protest you take to the streets or something that needs to shake up social media. It can start from home and more intimately. The battle isn't one gender versus the other, but the battle is against patriarchy that has dominated how we perceive each other. Movember advocates that men have the opportunity to speak about their health without prejudice and that their well-being, which is also unique to their bodies, be given the conversation and dialogue it rightly deserves.